basically establishing your own. You know what? Let's just put it this way: because chicks don't even read this 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 type of verbiage. Listen, you start out being a hoe, you're gonna be a hoe forever. There is no reverse in that. There's no reverse button. There's no ooh, no reverse. If you do it, you are it. Let it be. Don't be a hoe. That's all I can say. Yeah, and can I say something really quickly? Or so you're telling me that woman is 38 when she had her first first child. She no, she said she had a two year old. No, when she had her last. Yeah, her last. Last was 36. All right, well, shout out to the Down syndrome kids, man. They <laughs> love to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know what? I, I want to say this, too, because I hear a lot of people talking down about the whole, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to say the, the the Ray Rays, but the Pookies. I hear a lot of people talking down about Pookies. I think Pookies no, are. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was rude. Not Down syndrome. Just autism. Those are the motherfuckers yeah. who get like yeah. 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 You, you've already had kids and you have a kid older, you pretty much find the women, the women had them first kids at those ages that is right. more likely gonna have a problem. That's what I'm trying to say. They're evil, yeah. they're evil, they're evil women. <laughs> there was no reason for her to have that two year old, it was just ridiculous. Yeah. But it, yeah, that's nature way of telling a female you supposed to have children earlier, and that's why if if they have had children. When they're younger, it's like their their pussy's been prepared to have children. You know, it's like a christening. You know, but if you just don't ever use that box, and then all of a sudden you you or, or you know use your ovaries, and all of a sudden you use them, well, no, that ain't how it works. You were supposed mm-hmm. to be driving that car for quite some time. You supposed to be making some babies. Yeah, because I have a, I have a friend. She had her kid when she was thirty eight, and he's autistic, and and. <sighs> It's mm-hmm. 100% yep. her fault. Yep. 100% her fucking fault. Yep. yep. And they try to deny it. They keep saying that it's okay. It's okay. And they keep saying autism. It's like, no, the spike in autism has nothing to do with the fact that women are having children later. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. It's not even just autism. There are other mental illnesses, other physical yeah, yeah, yeah. illnesses, visual, vision yeah. issues, hearing issues, all kind of stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, I, and, but they keep because, doing yeah, and because these women have been taking certain drugs, introducing certain chemicals since they're young, and and saying they don't make sperm like men do. So a man can literally go on rehab for a couple months and come back to making proper sperm. But when she goes through certain things that in your twenties, man, that just stays in your egg, and it's just it's just what it is. I'm saying, wow, like we, wow, that. we really you can start being a hoe if you don't want to end up being a hoe. That's all I can say. We really are in the end of days, man. These, but that that's one of the reasons men should be pushing for women to get married early. And that's kind of my point. We have to push this and we got to stop hitting, stop allowing this. Um, you got to be 35 years old before you even start thinking about trying to find a woman. You have to already be established. You got to have this. You got to have that. No, you don't. Just get your woman and build a life for her. There's a reason a woman is avoiding the marriage. And, and this is what I'm really, I really want guys to understand that women have their own agenda. There's a reason she's avoiding marriage. There's a reason she don't want to commit to one guy. It's because she's trying to get, she's greedy. She's trying to get everything available. If she commits to one guy, she understands she gets what that guy has available. It doesn't make a difference who that guy is. It doesn't make a difference how rich he is, how poor he is, whatever the case is. She knows she only gets what that guy gets her if she's committed to him. As long as she's not committed, that means I can pull from different men. You always gonna have more when you can pull from different men, you know. So that works. And yeah, and Kevin C was making the point. Yeah, when they get older, and then sometimes it's not working so well to get the new men. Yeah, they they complain. But my thing is, why do I care what a woman's complaining about? I don't care what women think. I just don't. You know, say if you ain't my woman, why am I worried about what you, what you worried about? It don't make sense to me. Uh, and shout out to Ro. He says Africa is called Mother Africa, and Pan is a, is an incubus demon god. Doctor Umar always proclaimed to be the prince of Pan Africanism, the demon lord of uh, of the hardest Babylon. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's he's <laughs> married. I, as a person being as educated as he is, I don't know if that's the pastor. That's all I. That's <laughs> I'm not gonna say whether he knows or not, but I'm just gonna say as a man that educated, how did that slip past him if it did? 
How? That's all I'm gonna say. You know, because this, 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 this is the same man that has two women pregnant. So it's, he tells he tells men to do things that he does not do. So it's, it's very simple. It's not it's not even that simple. So it's it's so he's basically what he's doing is he's telling men to save his own kids. Mm, yep. That's even more nefarious. Go ahead. Yeah. Will. Yep. Yeah, it's worse. It's, it's, he's literally you all fix the community to... that I'm fucking up. Exactly. He's literally telling other men to come take, take a share and invest some time in his kids. It's, it's not just the community's kids because if the kids have fathers, they won't need the community. They won't need men in the community. Although it is nice, mentoring is always great if you have a father or not. But what he's saying is, for these kids that don't have no fathers, just like my kids, uh, I need y'all to go ahead and um, put some time in to help out my brothers who not doing what they supposed to do with me. He's literally describing himself. In mm-hmm. Everything he I mean, said. we don't. I don't. I don't hear. Uh, I don't hear people discussing the conscious stripper that he was supposedly dealing with a while back. That supposed scandal yeah. that he had. Like we, I mean, have we forgot them? I mean, not us, but you know, in general, like See, we, did we forget about criticize. that? I don't criticize for such things. You know why? I think Pookies have a valuable role in our community, right? He was talking that crap. What got me off with in his in that conversation he had when he was telling there should be no bad choices, right? There should be no Pookies. That's why it's not women's fault. And I thought it was like, how ridiculous is that? BGS was saying the same thing on, on, on his thing the other night. Think about it. If if we didn't, and I'm not religious, you know, some of the other brothers that do come on the panel is, but God gave you one thing, the right of choice. If you didn't go through trials and tribulations, how would you get any better, right? You didn't face obstacles. How would you get any better? So you're telling me because these hoes, can't determine that, hey, this is not a good choice, and they go ahead and make the bad choice, the fact that they got to reap the repercussions of the bad choice is not the, 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 is not the woman's fault. It's not the men that was a bad choice's fault. It's the good men that was, she was supposed to choose his fault. This is ridiculous. It makes no sense. I'm going to say he's not. I well, I'm, I'm gonna deal with that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna deal with that years too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna deal with that a little bit more because I actually did catch BGS's stream, and then he played some of that. But I never went and watched the rest of the interview because I wasn't really interested in the interview. But catching the stuff that I did catch when <laughs> BGS was showing it, yeah, this guy is doing way more damage than I even thought he was. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. check out the rest mm-hmm. of it first. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go into a discussion about that. But I'm, I'm, a, my thing is to be fair. Let me watch the rest of it because yeah, I mean, he, he, like I say, I, he's dangerous because he is so credible in so many right. ways. Exactly. That's why he is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So and he's not. But I do know that he's not. Even in all that nonsense that he was spewing, none of that happens. And because, see, my point is, we as black men, we should be requiring these women to marry young. Right. That's just to be a flat out thing. This whole thing about how you got to uh, be able to do this and pay all these bills and all that. We should be telling women, look, I hear what you're saying. That, that's not the deal we even trying to get. There is going to be no attempt for me to make that deal with you. OK, if you want me to pay all the bills, that's fine. But when I when I go get this job working at Popeye's. And I'm <laughs> and I'm trying to go through college. That means we're gonna be limited to what I can do with my Popeyes check. You know what I'm saying? Not saying anything wrong about Popeyes. You can exchange that for McDonald's, Burger King, whatever the case is. But whatever that guy's doing while he's making a way for himself, we're gonna limit you to that type of lifestyle. And that's just it at the end of the day. That's that's my thing. Why shouldn't a woman have a limiting lifestyle if the man has to have a limiting lifestyle? Point blank period. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to go through the struggle together. And I get it. Women even got a term where they say uh, they don't want no struggle love. If you don't want no struggle love, then what love you want? What love come without a struggle? But Roger, they, they, what, they re- what they're going to realize, which I'm uh, speaking for my sister, is that all these requirements 
have have going to there's two options all or nothing this is the problem with all or nothing there is a nothing side to all and most of them do not <laughs> take into account the nothing side the nothing, of the all or nothing not at all they don't exactly yeah. so, so they focus on the all and when they finally met with nothing that's when you get the complaint i i think we i think as men we should pay attention to something though uh i i, I I hear the conversations and, and I hear women complaining about their particular situation. And then when I hear men speak to them about it, they talk about, you know, what they could do. Not even actually, but in some conversations, they talk about what they could do to get out of it. Or they talk about the perspective of men and to explain to them why the, situ the situation is what it is. You know, I think I think they're reaping they're paying the costs for their decisions currently, right? Um, men don't want to marry old women with children. Marriage rate is dropping. They're complaining. Dudes are not talking to them. Dudes are not approaching them. Guys are not trying to marry them. They're just, and the only thing that they can see as, hey, I'm still wanted is because a guy wants to have sex with them. But as men, we know that that doesn't really mean much. Um, you don't win unless you're getting married and you're getting permanently booed up, right? Or sorry, significantly booed up. If it's anything other than that, you're not winning. And I think we gloss past that when we have these conversations, when we talk to each other as well as them. They're not winning, right? And they're on a path to actually losing even worse. They're not getting married. They're not getting the support they want. They got to take more drugs. They having more kids out of wedlock, which is putting more stresses on them. They having more ABs. Um, they having more baby terminations happening. All, all these things that are psychologically and physically affecting them. They're overweight. They're not mm -hmm. eating properly. You know, they're facing higher. Their increases in in health issues. Heart disease is on the increase. Diabetes is on the increase. And I mean specifically for Black women. Um, things related to stress is on the increase and they just feel like it shouldn't be happening to them just cause not, not that it's happening to them because of the choices that they make exactly. in my mind, I'm trying to explain it to them. I just say, Hey, let them work. L let them keep heading to the bottom until they hit the bottom. And then when they hit the bottom, I'm not helping you. You're going to have to come back to the top on your own before I put a hand out. Cause you're going to have to show me that you're worthwhile. And well, my thing is, I, I'm fine with whatever problem they end up with. I'm, I'm totally fine. <laughs> I don't I mean, even have so thoughts fine. about th their problem. Yeah, I'm fine with all those problems, you know. And I'm not helping them up because I told y'all before, my I'm I didn't stop with all this. I'm gonna give charity to women. You know what I'm saying? Now the uh a couple of young ladies that I was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all before, the three young girls ended up going to live with their mother. So I don't really do nothing with them anymore. I'm a, I call them and talk to them a little bit here and there. That's about it. The the two older ones, I might, you know what I'm saying? I might do something here and there for um, the second oldest because, you know, she's only like 18, 19. Well, I mean, no, she's 19 now, 19. The other one, she got a man. They got a baby. My whole point with them is y'all need to go ahead and get married. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really doing much in that situation because now she's living with that guy. So my thing is that's the guy you picked. That's the guy you had a baby by. Make it work. It's that simple. <laughs> Through the day. Whatever, whenever she says something ain't right, I still hit her with you. You still got to make it work because you had a baby by that man. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is y'all just going to make it official because you ain't, you ain't got no reason for it not to be official at this particular point. Y'all living together. Y'all raising y'all child together. You might as well get married. The the uh, the other one that's the um that's a little bit younger than her, I might do stuff for her, for her here and there. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, I just want to do a bunch of charity for women no more. So like, if you a stranger and I don't know you, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't I don't uh get to the programs no more. Uh, even if I stop at a fast food restaurant, there's restaurants that say, well, you know, um, can we round the rest of that dollar up so we can get a such and such charity? No. Cause it might help a woman at the end of the day. I'm not giving them nothing. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? And I think that needs to happen because they need to, to be able to accept what comes with going through life without a husband. Now, shout out to Matt Week Sports who says black women are getting less by uh, stitching men. The issue isn't aging out of the plethora of benefits. 
issue is aging out of keeping their head afloat of drowning. Well, yeah, I, I think those things do kind of go along with each other because when you can't attract the new man to replace the old man that got tired of you, yeah, you're gonna lose some benefits at the end of the day. And but but they see it as they see it as getting more because if I'm getting this from this guy and I'm getting that from that guy, because of the numbers, it seems like more. It's it's like the trick of inflation. You could save your money for 30 years and you will have a bigger number. But are you going to have the same buying power? The number's still bigger, so it seems bigger. But you'd have to really understand how money works to figure out that 30 years from now, if I just save money, I'm going to have less buying power, which means I save money to lose money. Because a lot of people ain't going to understand it that way. You know? Yeah. So, we, you know, women are looking at it from more of that viewpoint. I can get stuff from five men instead of getting stuff from one man. The one man might do her better, but she don't know that. And it's hard to see it when she got four other men. You know? Yeah, yeah because what, from Matt's point, is is he's basically saying that they're still getting the same benefits in their 30s that they were getting in their 20s. And the issue is that he, from what I think he's saying, is that they've been doing this so long that it may be a deterioration of mental state or other factors that is why they're they're where they are. I don't think that is the case. I think they would be they they're fine doing it if they were in a position still to collect the same amount of resources because I don't see too many women in like I'm saying expensive apartment complaining about I've been in expensive apartments for so many years. I'm tired of being a sugar baby. It, it it's not working well for my psychology. Um, no, that's not really the case. Most of the girls are complaining are complaining because they're the the bad decisions they made have left them in financial destitution, and they're complaining about that. So, yeah. Well, that that's kind of what I mean by they can't replace the dude that got tired with them. See, the thing is, when you out here pole dancing all the time, yeah, people will come see you show. Keep people will come see your show, but eventually the guy wants to see something different. She been pole dancing the whole time. Y'all should get what I mean by pole dancing because I'm trying to be polite. I'm saying it. Every dude get tired at some point. And when that dude leave, can you replace him with somebody else? That's the question. And it's not a problem when you're young because it seems like you got replacements all over the place. But as you get older, maybe a little bit hard to replace a guy. And then the guy you replace him with may not have what the last guy had. It starts to, to you know, variations start to happen. <laughs> And if she's not where she wants to be, if she ain't in, if she ain't one of the women in those luxury apartments, now everybody's wrong. Now, if she was able to do it and she can be the woman in the luxury apartment, hey, she could do that to death, literally, and she'd be all right. But if you can't do it to death, exactly, what you gonna do then? You know, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and it's very easy to do it to death. You know, um, but but this is why I'm saying that we as men, I think is. No, we got to marry y'all young, you know? And I've said before, we shouldn't, no black man should be having a first wife at at at, at, uh, um, at 30 years old. If you 30 anything, that shouldn't be your first wife, you know? And that's including myself. I don't want no 30 plus anything because that would be my first wife. I don't want my first wife to be 30 plus years old, you know? It is what it is. And like I said, the only way I can really even see myself getting married at this point is me making a bad deal for religious reasons. That's it. I'm trying to marry somebody. You would be the only woman I have sex with, but I ain't really trying to leave you anything. You know? <laughs> so if you want if you want a bad deal, come on. <laughs> but unless you want to take a bad deal up front, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You know, so it just is what it is for me. You know, cause uh, the uh, you know, cause having kids ain't, ain't just, it just ain't that big a deal to me no more. When when that was a big deal, maybe I would I'll be a lot more malleable uh, as far as what I'd be willing to do. But once that desire that don't really hit you no more, it, man, I ain't got number bad deals for people. Real talk. <laughs> I, I I totally agree, Roger, because the idea of marrying young was to give the benefit of the man, the youth, and also it was somewhat of um of uh, an apple where you can, a reward where you are, uh, where, where we're giving you a young version of this female, you're going to have babies and all things, but no matter how old she gets, you're going to have to keep her. So it's kind of the, the, the way it, the marriage would benefit the female, which is why I'm kind of, 
remiss that they think it's okay to be old and have children out of wedlock. And I, I, cause I don't understand it. Like logically speaking, the whole idea of marrying young was you get the, you trap the man with your beauty and then have the children and, and then say, hey, you can't leave me with these ki kids in my old age. And then he'll probably say, you know what happened? It makes sense. I'm saying, so, but now it's like this weird scenario where it's like, I'm old now, I have a bunch of kids. Okay, I need somebody to help me out. What's, what's going on with you? And I'm like, what? Well, you know, I, I, I think it, it's the opposite, right? I think it's the inverse. I think they're doing this as a form of rebellion. They knew, they know it's wrong to do it, but they're doing it to prove that it's right, right? And all of us growing up, we've all, we all grew up knowing, hey, get married, have kids, get married, have kids, not have kids, then possibly get married. That's never been, that's even, doesn't even matter the community here, even in the black community. It's, it's, it's never been part of the teachings as a kid. It's always, you, if you play in house with a girl, she's your wife when y'all little, right? If y'all got babies, it's with my wife and we got babies and we got the Ken dolls and the, the Barbie dolls sitting there playing. Uh, Ken and Barbie together. G.I. Joe, so sorry, correction. G.I. Joe and Barbie, um, as it was when I was a kid. It's never been, hey, my girlfriend and then she got some babies. This is, it's always been my wife and babies. Girls too, my husband. They always talk about, when they're little girls, they talk about their Prince Charms, their husbands. When they get to be teenagers, they talk about having boyfriends. But in any case, they know that's not the path to do it. But they also know that their current situation doesn't allow for them to take that correct path anymore. So what else can they do? Well, I need to show everybody that there's nothing wrong with the path that I got, and I'm going to prove it. Problem. The outcome of going down that path is nothing but negative. But they're so foolhardy and hard-headed to prove everybody else wrong, honestly trying to prove themselves wrong in what they in what they grew up learning, they make these stupid haphazard mistakes, which is ridiculous. I have you a niece you know, who's in the same situation. It, it, it's right, absurd, right. but it is what it is. No, I agree. I, I and I also agree with you in um who's telling that along with being in um defiant and stubborn, they also they force their local family members and society to essentially prevent the shame of overall. It's almost like we're going to hold the entire society hostage. If you want us to become single moms on the street, destitute, blah, 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 blah we're just going to just go forward. And if it happens, it's, we're just still going to blame you guys. And if, and if we go forward and you guys hold us up, thank you for doing that. We're not going to stop. You see? It's almost, it's almost that, like, like that approach. I don't and think so, they're forcing the, 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 the surrounding people, though. I think the surrounding people well, we, are, are helping them, right? So I, yeah, think, it's, like, I think you're right. Yeah. I just think it's the other way around. Yeah. No, I, what I'm saying to you is that most people begrudgingly help these women, um, truth tellers. I don't know about Even that. Just, I've seen some single mothers, some single grandmothers go all in and make excuses for them, right? I don't know if it's begrudgingly is what I'm saying. In my, in my case, it may be. Go ahead, Roger. I think it's just let's not let's just not help. Them. <laughs> That's, That's what I say. That's what just I say. Not help them and be happy with it. You know what I'm saying? I I'm happy about not giving you my money. Okay, you ain't doing nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? You're not providing no service. I'm happy with not giving you my money. I don't feel bad, and, and I hear it all the time when I say certain things, and people are like you shouldn't say that. And what about the kid? I hear that stuff all the time because I talk like this on a regular basis. So I hear that stuff all the time. My thing is your kid is not my issue. Matter of fact, even uh, yesterday I replied to a comment. Somebody put a comment on the video. Because when we, when we were talking about the fact that, uh, you know, you have a kid who breaks into home, just take the kid out. He was like, well, don't you think people will, have a, will be upset? Try to retaliate because you took the kid out. And I'm like, no, that's not going to happen because... Yeah, somebody mute up. Your, your, your noise is loud. Jada, I think that's you. You might want to mute up. Okay, thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I'm like, well, I'm not worried about 
no issue about somebody trying to retaliate because number one the kid broke into the home the kid is already in the wrong so you cannot have revenge on the person that did not do anything to you the kid got dealt with because the kid was in the wrong because they broke in somebody's house and i also said if i'm willing to kill your kid you think i'm gonna be worried about killing you there's graveyards out here that you can get applied next to the kid you know <laughs> whoever wants to retaliate on the kid's behalf it, they got graveyards. We can get you applied right next to the kid that got killed. It is not that big a deal. You know, but if I would kill a child, you think I won't kill no adult? Now, granted, me, I don't want to kill nobody because I don't want to banish nobody to a situation where they will end up going to hell because of my personal belief says I don't want to kill you, but I ain't gonna hesitate either, though. It's not my it's not my problem. You know, I so Hey, can I, I want to throw in something. I, I've mentioned this before. I just, I, I want to keep reiterating it. I'm on a black Facebook group. I'm, I'm living in Southern California and um, the group, and I've been part of the group for several years, maybe five, six, maybe seven years or so. But, uh, you know, the group was, you know, it's for networking and, you know, some people might want to sell things, but I'm seeing more and more. I didn't even know that <laughs> this had this feature until recently. I'm seeing more and more anonymous posters to where it'll say anonymous and it'll be no picture or something. And it'll usually be a, a woman. And of course, it's a black group. So it's a black woman begging, begging for something, saying about her kids, blah, blah, blah. My rent is late or my car ain't working. I need a transmission, all types. Of, I'm just seeing more and more of it. And it's, it's, and it's a sight to see, man. It's, it's, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, t I'm taking, I'm getting kind of entertained by it, to be honest with you. But, um, and I just, I do look at the posts, the responses, the replies to the, to the post. And I do see, uh, I see some men replying and trying to offer assistance, but it's mostly, uh, other women. So I, I just want to, uh, just, just to all the men out there, if you're, you have a girlfriend, a woman you're dealing with a wife, especially a wife, tell your wife, don't even help these broads out either. Your girlfriend, don't help them. You know what I'm saying? I, agree. I see a lot of them. So uh, I just want to encourage that even if we shouldn't be helping them and don't and the woman in your life should not be helping them at all. But I do see a lot of posts, man. It's very interesting. I'm, I might start screenshotting some of this stuff and just and, and sharing it. It's, it's a sight to see. Uh huh. So you 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 all good with with all the other stuff. But when you beg for money, now you got to be anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, I didn't even, I just saw this feature recently and, it, and man, they're popping up all the time. I didn't even know they had this speech. It, it used to be, hey, what, you know, what club is popping tonight? You know, hey, what's going on? Or yeah, you're know, sipping paint and all these little, you know, events and stuff. But now a paint. lot of anonymous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's so, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of begging now, man. So I think <laughs> the chickens may be coming home. The chickens may be coming home. The rules are here, Joe. But uh, they here. Yeah, they here, Jado. They here. They here already. I know. I know it's they here because I like I tell you, I have five sisters. They here, and it's not because they're they're financially destitute. It's, it, it's coming on the rules on every level. The men that have money are holding their ground and like, yo, if you don't, if you're not gonna basically see my fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year, something worthwhile to just be there with your whatever, whatever it is, and basically, you know what I'm saying. So it's you know and then so. And then the ones that basically are used to the excessive amount of access to men, it's on every level. I'm not And the rich women that are basically that, it, it's on every level. That's why every decay is complaining. Why is it every? It's on every level. The, she's the, we're holding, yeah, yeah, she's we're holding the line. Yeah, we're holding the line, truth teller. And and I see it. I agree with Jado. I see it because the government is not in a position to give. I'm saying give what they used to give. And even these women that are trying to help out, most of them are also concerned about giving too much because they're concerned about reducing their situation. So listen, but and most of them are saving faith. But it yeah, you're right. Chickens are definitely home to roost. Well, my thing is then uh I'm we need more chickens then. Let let it all come home to roost at the end of the day. And my thing is guys shouldn't feel bad about it because all these women could have had a husband. You know? Or if you don't, if we don't want to say all, oh, it'd be a very small population who may not have got married, like somebody who has a serious issue. But if you're a normal person, you could have had a husband. Now I understand if you got like multiple sclerosis or something, and it showed up by the time you was 25. <laughs> I get that. Not laughing at those people, but I'm saying I could understand 
why a woman in that situation may not have a husband. But if you're a normal person, no, you should have had a husband. You know, um, 